this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, just more proof of the fact that when you go woke, you're going to go broke. But uh, I covered this this Disney film, uh, Strange World, where essentially their main you know protagonist was a, a flaming sodomite. Uh, but essentially, turns out that you know I said in my other video that you know they're probably gonna lose you know hundred you know something million dollars. Uh, it turns out that not only is it just failing at the box office, but uh, according to this article on Deadline, it says Strange World to lose one hundred and forty seven million dollars. While the theatrical was, while the theatrical was best decision for Doom Tune, not Disney Plus, as Bob Iger takes over Disney from Bob uh, Chapek, whatever you say his name, you know. So. And this is just one example of just, because it seems that pretty much every single time they try to insert the just socially liberal uh, narratives and ideology into their film, it gets, it gets, it, it flops at the box office. And this is just like, you know, open themes. I mean, there is even times where like, the, what's that, that light year film where it's like, they have like one little uh, quick little uh, lesbian kiss scene, even that flopped. Because why? Normal people don't want that in their kids' films, you know? It's, a, it's just... It's just that plain and simple. But reading the article, because this is just hilarious. I mean, it's, I mean, and it's funny because they just they don't seem to get it, do they? They don't seem to get that every single time they try this, it fails. But it says here uh, on this article, death taxes and films that bomb at the box office. Such is life in Hollywood. And at the end of the day, the estimated 147 million dollar loss, which is expected for Disney's Disney Animation's Strange World, isn't split milk to cry over for the entertainment. Conglomerate. Not good at reading on the computer. Bear with me. Uh, the bombing of the Thanksgiving family title with, with a 28 million global opening. <laughs> wow, that was that's that's hilarious. Uh, in the face of, ne of the Netflix the uh, theatrical experiment, the Glass Onion knives of, uh, knives a uh, knives out of mystery. Whatever. Uh, with 13.3 million over five days, have prompted discussion this weekend over as to what's really prime uh, for theatrical and what's really deal. Which really ideal for streaming. No, no question about it. Netflix is leaving money on the table with a four hundred million dollar plus investment in the Knives Out, Out franchise, with a one week only theatrical only uh, release before its December twenty third streaming drop. You know, uh, going on in the article, continuing on, this is what it says. However, Disney aren't idiots uh, for committing to a global theatrical release, even if it's not full, for Strange World, which will debut on Disney Plus around Christmas. Why did Disney go theatrical on a movie they knew had bad audience diagnostics and not streaming? Uh, I spoke with someone from, who saw Strange World in an early test screening back in August who believed Disney should have should have held the movie. Uh, why didn't Hocus Pocus 2 go theatrical even, uh, given its uh, massive eyeballs on Disney Plus and cult fandom? Why didn't uh, Disenchanted, uh, a sequel to the over three times Oscar nominated $340 million plus grossing global hit go streaming? Such questions will have easier answers in the post Bob Chapek, I call him Bob Paycheck because that's what it's all about, the love of money. Uh, post Bob Chapek, Kareem Daniels era, uh, it's clear that Iger's move uh, to put in distribution and P PNL decisions uh, back in the hands of the studio's creative hands, the people who actually steer such product, an indication that smarter creative and financial decisions are afoot in the studio. But the problem is too, they don't seem to get that regardless of how much of a quality film they're going to come out with, when you just insert this kind of uh, liberal ideology into your film, it's going to flop because people don't want to pay, just normal people don't want to pay to see that. The only people who actually are really whining about not having it in a film are just these, these minority of just annoying little people, just basically these annoying blue-haired SJWs on the internet, pretty much. But that they're not these see these annoying basement dwelling SJWs who just have nothing better to do with their lives on the internet. Uh, they're the, they're not the majority. They're the minority. And when you pander to a minority like that, yeah, it's gonna flop. But it says Disney. It says in the article, Disney hasn't commented on whether fewer movies will go straight to Disney Plus as Iger takes over. The feeling by industry source industry industry sources is that more expensive theatrical movies will go theatrical and significantly lower budget ones. Uh, without any big screen potential will make their way on the service. Uh, no more opulent feature stunting to get subscribers is in the sense uh, we're getting, which is a similar philosophy of that of Warner Brothers, oh sorry, Warner Discovery CEO, David Zelafs in regards to feature films and HBO Max, Disney's pivot uh, to Iger and pushing out of Chap and the pushing out of Chapek and Daniel is a sign to many that the entertainment uh, conglom Wants to, appe wants to appease the Wall Street's appetite for profits from streamers, not subscription counts. Yeah, love of money is the root of all evil. First Timothy 6, verse uh, 20. Sorry, First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. I do apologize. Wrong uh, wrong scripture there. But yeah, 
you know, you're, you're, on a, you're, all, you're in it for the money, not just trying to please, you know, the actual subscribers, that's the results. But it says here in the article, continuing on, so if Disney knew Strange World uh, with its problematic title was a dud, uh, why did it not go straight to streaming? Good question to ask. Disney has had a history of launching family animated a family animated title over Thanksgiving audiences. Uh, come to expect that. So basically, they come to expect this kind of stuff. Uh, that alone is is of significant reputation value to Disney, and meeting their fans' demands. Had Disney pulled another movie from the theatrical schedule and it went to streaming, the, a standard Chapek business move, especially at Thanksgiving, there would be a great up, uproar uh, from exhibition. And they've already uh, had their share of purchases in subtracting Mulan, etc. You know, uh, from their release schedule. Not to mention that their controversial day and date experiment with Marvel's Black Widow. Uh, had Strange World gone straight to Disney Plus, it would have been a PR nightmare for the studio, uh, particularly in the wake of Chapex Florida don't say uh, Chapex Florida don't say gay. Uh, uh, basically, this whole mess that, that happened back in May, where he was, uh, you know, pressured to go against this. this bill against sexualizing children in schools with you know, homosexual propaganda. Uh, a strict Disney Plus release for Strange World would indicate that, uh, that the Burn Bank uh, CA studio was giving was giving a lesser release and a lesser profile for a big movie with a gay character versus a global theatrical launch. But you see, most people seem to overlook the fact that every single time they insert these homosexual characters into their films, it flops because, you know, First of all, children are not really able to understand. See, you have these atheists who will say, oh, you shouldn't be teaching kids religion because they can't, you know, understand it. They're not able to, you know, make decisions for themselves. But then these same liberal atheists are perfectly okay with transgenderizing a children, a child of that same age. So the, so it's like the main crutch is the fact that children are not able to understand this, this type of stuff, you know. Uh, and plus, even films that are aimed to an older adult, uh, older audience, like what's that that Bros film, or whatever that homosexual film, even that flopped at the box office because people don't want to pay money to have all this liberal ideology inserted into their entertainment. It's just that plain and simple. And when you keep pandering to these annoying little uh, blue-haired feminists and SJW just weirdos and clowns on on the internet, then you're going to keep continually having these box office flops over and over and over again. But they don't seem to learn, do they? And they continually are duped into thinking that these annoying, you know, internet keyboard warriors on Twitter and Facebook and everything else, who have, you know, essentially are basement dwelling losers, essentially, they're, they're somehow the, the uh, majority. They're not. They're just an annoying, uh, rather loud minority on the internet. So anyway, wanted to point that out. It's just hilarious how they just just don't get it, do they? They just don't seem to understand that you go woke, you're going to go broke. You know, but this is going to keep happening until they obviously understand it or if they actually eventually understand it so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.